So we come to the next problem. It says in quick sort for sorting n elements, the n by fourth smallest element is selected as pivot using an O n time algorithm. What is the worst case time complexity of the quick sort? So what what do you usually do in quick sort? So suppose this is some uh, array of elements you have to sort using quick sort. So what you do is you choose some element to be your pivot. Okay. So in this case, what you are doing is you are using something. Uh, you are using the n by fourth smallest uh, smallest element as your pivot. So suppose you have if you had a sorted order. Okay. Where would be the position of this n by fourth? Okay. So let's say this is the n by fourth element would be here in sorted order. So what it does is in the quick sort you you split you split this array into two parts this one and this one all right and the the elements that are smaller than n by 4 okay that are smaller than n by 4 they go on the left side of this pivot and the elements that are greater than n by 4 they go on the right side of the pivot and then you do the same thing on these smaller arrays that you go so you use recursion Okay, that's that's quick sort in a nutshell, and in this case, if you try to build a rec recurrence relation for this case when you have used the n by fourth smallest element, so what do you get? Okay, so t n is equal to, so you have to sort the array in the left, so those are all uh, uh, about n by four elements, so you can say t n by 4 I say about n by 4 because there is pivot also right so that's one extra thing plus you have to sort those elements towards the right of this thing which is how many 3 n by 4 okay because when you put n by 4 on this side you are left with 3 n by 4 elements there on the right side so this is 3 n by 4 okay and then what else uh, see when you make this thing your pivot and you throw these elements to the left and the other the bigger elements to the right what you are you you use an on time algorithm that is also given to you even if it were not given you should know this thing so this you do in some n time okay so what I can write out here is uh, some constant into and this is what I can write here. So now I have to basically solve this recurrence relation. Okay, so uh, the master theorem is not applicable in this case because we have we apply that when we have a slightly different format. Okay, when we have only this one term here. So what we can still use is what is called a, recur a recursion tree. Okay, we can use the recursion tree to solve this thing so what you do in recursion tree is you say okay I start at tn okay so this is where I start and then what is this tn is cn plus these smaller things so what I do in the next step is instead of this tn what I do is I write cn okay I write cn and then I go one level down the tree like this and this side I have t n by 4 and on this side I have t 3 times n by 4 alright so that's what I can do okay and then I can apply the same recurrence relation to this t n by 4 and to this t 3 n by 4 okay so when I apply this thing to this tn by 4, so what can I do? I can apply, so basically I'll apply this formula again. So instead of n out here, now I have n by 4. So what I do is I write cn by 4, okay, and then uh, my tree goes on, okay. So out here I have t this time so this was n by 4 so this becomes n by 16 alright and what about this thing so this is 
this will becomes 3 times of n by 16 like this okay and the same I can do on this side also okay if I do the same thing out here so this was what t 3 times n by 4 so I write 3 times of c n by 4 okay and then I have these two things in my tree so out here what will I get t of what so this was like now this instead of n now we have 3 n by 4 okay so we just divide it by 4 like t n by 4 so this will be 3 n by 16 and this will be this thing so we have a 3 we multiply it by 3 by 4 so this becomes uh, sort of 9 by 16 and so this is what we get and we you can keep on going like this okay and we so what we ultimately need is we need to know how many levels we have okay so like this so this is level 0 this is level 1 okay this is level 2 and so on so yeah we go ahead and we have to find how many levels we have in this recursion tree and at each level we have to count the number of uh, comparisons or operations we are doing so in this level we are doing cn operations in this level how many operations we are doing cn by 4 plus 3 cn is again cn operations okay so in each level you are doing cn operations that is fine and if you can count the number of levels you will be done okay you can see that even in this case when you will replace this by cn by 16 and this by 3cn by 16 3cn by 16 and 9cn by 16 you will again if you will again add the comparisons at this level you will again get cn because you will have 1 plus 3 4 plus 3 7 plus 9 16 by 16 so even at this level the number of comparisons will be cn in all the levels num the number of comparisons will be cn all you need to do is you to find the number of levels but what is interesting in this case is that see this is n by 16 this is a smaller term than this thing 9 n by 16 so the tree on this side will have like less depth okay and on this side the tree will have more depth okay because this will end before because you are going like really small at each time you are doing 1 by 4 1 by 4 but in this side you are doing only 3 by 4 3 by 4 each times okay so this will be the longest tree and that will give you the worst case all right so that will sort of give you the worst case so if you find the levels how will you find the levels so what you can say uh, that at level r at level r okay uh, and we're talking about this side okay because this is going to get long so at level r what is the order you have you have something like t 3 by 4 raised to r into n this is what you have at level r and when you reach the end of the this recursion tree at the leaf but you when you reach the leaves this should becomes this should become 1 okay so now you can compare these things so 3 by 4 r n is 1 or n or n is 4 by 3 r okay or r is what log your base is 4 by 3 n so this is what your base is 4 by 3 n so this is basically the number of levels you have when you reach the leaves so this is log n and in each level you have c n so what it tells you ultimately ultimately it tells you that the number of comparisons you will do is in the worst case is number of levels multiplied by cn so that will be log 4 by 3 n or cn so it it is n times log n only basically that's what you get okay so this is option p all right that's that's what you do in the worst case